Chiang Mai is a beautiful city in the north of Thailand that city walls and moats remind you of the Lanai Kingdom from the 13th century. Now, Chiang Mai is a bustling city known for its temples, history, festivals, and delicious food. We were in Chiang Mai for five nights to attend the Loi Katong Festival, which is the annual Flying Lantern Festival. The whole city was beautifully decorated with lanterns, making it a magical time to visit. In this video though, we'll be sharing our favorite activities in Chiang Mai and the top five temples you have to visit when you come here. So let's show you around. We started our sightseeing at Tha Pe Gate, which is a great place to see the old defensive walls for yourself. This gate, the walls, and the moat were used to defend the city from invaders from Burma and Mongolia. There were vendors selling bird food, and it was so fun to feed the birds and to have them eat right out of your hand. <laughs> oh, they like you. I've never held a kitchen in my hand. This is so cool. It's worth the cost of 20 bucks. This is the brave one that'll just get right in your hand. The others are kind of scared to get in your hand. There was also someone there taking pictures for people walking through the birds. They can really get some great shots, so I highly recommend it as a good memento of your time in Chiang Mai. I remember coming to the Night Bazaar last year when it was full of vendors inside and out. But due to the pandemic and the lack of tourists, the night bazaar is only a small fraction of what it used to be. It's still worth going to see all the interesting stalls, but it is a little sad to know so many vendors have gone out of business due to these troubling economic times. I dare say Chiang Mai has some of the best food in Thailand. We recently went vegetarian and are impressed by the quantity and the quality of the vegetarian restaurants in Chiang Mai. The food was healthy and so very delicious. Wat Sri Supan, known simply as the Silver Temple, is covered in ornately decorated silver plates. You will love the intricate details and the metallic luster of this temple. No women are allowed inside the main silver temple, so I sent David in to get this footage of the inside. Very lovely indeed. activities and beauty to behold on the outside of the main temple though. So don't feel disappointed ladies. There's still plenty here for you to see and to do. So I'm going to try to do this birthday candle too. I got 20 baht. And... But let's go put this in the river. So here, you're able to light a candle and make a wish as you put your candle into the little pond. We always like to do activities like this at the temples 
because it really enhances your experience of the place. I really enjoyed this temple because it's easy to get a blessing from the monks and to learn more about the practice of meditation. It's a vihara, yeah. Everyone can come inside. Mm. Yeah, but this is for the ubo sort, for the just only the monk. We come in time, we say Swadi and good afternoon today. I'm the public relation in Silver Temple in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And another position, I'm assistant for the meditation, master for the meditation, because the Silver Temple Foundation, we promotion, we learning about activity for training the people around the world for the meditation. From Silver Temple, from here about nine kilometers, we have the place we name Meditation Center at Chiang Mai. If you want to learn about we have the Muay Thai, you know, <laughs> and meditation, please contact me. My name is Sawan Phan Thai Song. Thank you very much. We were very happy to meet Sawan Quen Thai Song, who is kind enough to teach us a new meditation technique called dynamic meditation which is moving your hands in with your in-breath to bring in good energy and moving your hands out with your out-breath to expel bad energy. I really enjoyed learning this new meditation practice and enjoyed hearing about their meditation center. This is why the Silver Temple is on the top of my list of places you must visit, especially if you're interested in learning more about Buddhism and meditation. We love Wat Chedi Luang because of the 700 year old pagoda that still remains at the back of this temple. This pagoda once held the sacred emerald Buddha that is now in the Grand Palace in Bangkok. The pagoda was once twice as tall as it is now but it was damaged due to an earthquake. The part of the pagoda that still remains is amazing to see though, with golden Buddhas inside and lines of sculpted elephants outside. The pagoda was well decorated for the lantern festival with colorful lanterns everywhere. It's also nice to go inside the active temple to see all the lovely golden Buddhas. 30 minutes up a mountain is one of the most popular temples in the region, which is Wat Prathat Doi Suthep. This temple is popular as a pilgrimage site and it's a common practice to buy bells as an offering for the Buddha. Go to the temple, go mm -hmm. hang the Buddha for good luck, go hang up there. Rao ki harao. So we're gonna get one of these. Family, good luck, good luck. 200 baht. Okay, it's a bit expensive, 200 baht. But... So let's climb the 300 stairs to hang this up. Right there. Thank you for the information. And you walk at 306 step walk. Oh, okay. And cable car 50 baht up and down. Oh, cable yeah. car is only 50 baht. That's not bad at all. So we're going to walk the steps. This is starting the 300 steps. And really, I'm not finding the steps to be too hard. One minute later. So you start feeling the burn around step 200. But I'm nearly there. So I'm not gonna give up. The 300 step climb is worth it though, as you get to see great views of the city and the beautiful golden stupas at the top. We 
we're supposed to walk clockwise three rounds around the pagoda saying Namo Tassa Pagato Arahato Sama Sambudasa. They really do make information about these traditions easily accessible here. You should also try the fortune telling sticks. You shake the sticks until one comes out and whatever numbers on that stick, that's your fortune. So the number 14 tells you that you should be patient and don't be in a hurry. Everything will be all right. And don't think about the lover. So my fortune told me to not think about David. Sorry, babe. Happy, lucky for you to love food here or the bed for you. And the temple grounds here are lovely. Definitely worth exploring. All temples are usually donation based. So give what you can when you come. Another favorite right in the center of Chiang Mai is Wat for Sing. This temple also has two big golden stupas in the back, perfect for doing walking meditation and for sitting and admiring the golden sparkle of the grounds. And our fifth favorite temple in Chiang Mai was Wat Lok Moli. This charming temple has two big elephants guarding the entrance. For Loi Katong, they have hanging lanterns for sale. And we enjoyed writing our wishes down and hanging them up on the temple grounds. On my lantern, I wish for health, peace, and success in whatever I do. Let's hang this up and hope it comes true. Wish for joy, love, wealth, and great health. Okay, I'm gonna put mine up next to Kendall's here. We truly enjoyed participating in this hanging lantern tradition. What would you wish for on your lantern? If you enjoyed seeing these Chiang Mai temples, please give the video a like and leave us a comment about your favorite temple. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can follow the journey and see all of our adventures in Thailand and around the world. We'll be posting our Lantern Festival video next week, so please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. As always, thanks so much for watching, thanks for sharing and helping the channel to grow, and take care till next time.